Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to decorate some little gingerbread men to look like skeletons. Now, I'm just using some black ready to roll icing, which you'll see I've got all over my hands. Now I've got a cutter that's the same one that I've used for making the biscuits, so we're going to cut out our black fondant. Now I do have a recipe for these which is in the description box below the video. Now I've just got some royal icing. Again, I've just bought this one ready-made. I don't do a lot of royal icing work, so it's just easier for me to buy it ready-made. So again, I've just used a Renshaw's one for this. I'm just gonna neaten off the edges that haven't cut very well with my cutter. And just place that onto your biscuit or your cookie. So we're gonna start with the head. And I've got just a small piece of white fondant that we're going to roll out and I've got a couple of circles one for the eyes and the bottom of the mouth and one for the head just make sure your circles the same size or slightly bigger than the head so we'll cut that out on there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a small bit off the bottom like so and I'll put a little bit of royal ice in or you can use water to stick this in place whichever you prefer. And we're going to push this onto there like so. This one is just a nozzle but you can use any small little round cutter. And we're just going to push in either side and then just carefully pull those bits out. And there's a couple of little white bits just inside, so I'm just going to brush them down with my paintbrush a little bit. One of the eyes that we've got, we've taken out, I'm just going to cut a little bit off and we're going to use this as the bottom of the mouth. So again, we'll just put a little bit of water there. And we're just going to push this under there, like so. And then I'm just going to use the end of my tool to put in two tiny little marks for the nose. So again, taking my royal ice in, I've just got a 1.5 number nozzle on here. We're going to add a little dot for the start of the spine and then just a little line at either side of the body for the rib cage. Another little dot. And then the same again, two more ribs. Another dot. And some more little ribs. We'll put some more dots. For the bones in the arms, we're going to put two little dots at the top of where the bone's going to go. And then a short little bone. Now his arms are too short to get in the real amount that you would have in your skeleton. We're just going to do the same on this side. Just another small line. And then we're going to pipe in some little lines for the fingers. Again, I'm not putting five fingers on because I'm a bit short for space, so I'm just going to squeeze four in there. Now, for the hips, I'm just going to squeeze round, almost a figure of eight that you really want to be doing for the hips. And again, squeezing in your little bones. I've got very short legs as my man. And then we're just going to put three lines on for the feet. Or if you can only squeeze a couple on, that's fine too. And for the eyes, you can leave them as they are if you like them like that. Or if you want him to look like he's looking anywhere, just pipe in. Do little dots, like so. And that's it. Your little skeleton gingerbread man. Please do check out my other Halloween videos. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find them. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.